What's up guys? I got my Ford Maverick finally here and I just want to do a quick um, review, initial impressions and whatnot. I know there's a million of these videos out there, but I ordered this pretty much sight unseen. Um, after I ordered, I did get a chance to see a trainer for about five minutes total. Um, I ordered July 22nd, built the week of 1014 and it was delivered last night which was november 11th at about midnight <laughs> so here is the truck i got the 2.0 liter eco boost with the fx4 package the 4k tow package and i added um, the copilot 360 as well as the inverter in the uh, rear of the truck the, the actual truck not the bed it's just the xlt so it just has the normal keys I did order it in cactus gray. Um, here's just a brief view of it. It is a good looking truck. My initial um, impressions are actually very positive. It's it, it seems bigger than you would think, but also just the right size. You can see it next to my school bus. Uh, that's a conversion, but it's a really good looking truck. Um, oh, the other thing I did add was the spray and bed liner but I did not do it through the, the the Ford plant. I did it through the dealership, which I would recommend because you get this part lined. If you do it through the plant in Mexico, this will be the same color as this. And from what I've seen, um, it does not look very good. So the exterior features that um, kind of caught my eyes, there are a ton of tie downs. You got two here, two here. Um, two up top back there and then two on the bottom as well as two here so a ton of tie downs and these are also bottle openers um, there's nothing here since i just got the basic xlt but if you do get the luxury package in xlt or the lariat you'll get a 400 watt inverter here but you do get this cool thing which is a cubby um, quite pretty big and even more space down there the other cool thing about this bed is these connectors right here. You can pop these off and it's pre-wired for a 12 volt uh, DC connector on each side. And the cool thing about that is you can wire up a compressor or lights or you know some USB ports or really whatever you want um, instead of having to try to rig the tailgates to do that. The bed is I believe four and a half feet long but when you flip this down it makes it six feet. So it's actually a bit roomier than I thought. It's nice because you can just reach over instead of a typical like F-150 that's super high up. Um, I'm about six feet and this thing is perfect for me. It can hold uh, 1500 payload in the back. And I believe it said it can hold 18 sheets of plywood, eight by four. So obviously across it would be four feet. Um, you're gonna stick out a bit, but the cool thing is these right here, you can clip these up. Well, I can't figure it out, but you unclip that and it'll raise up into this position, which will line up with the wheel wells, and it'll just hang right over the back. As far as the FX4, um, I think you get some upgraded rear suspension. You get these upgraded rims, which are 17 inch, and you get these Pirelli Scorpions. Um, they say it's an all-terrain. It really isn't. It might be slightly more aggressive than a normal road tire, but they're, they're very tame. Um, along with the FX4 package, you get skid plates on the underneath you get upgraded oh, look, little b you get upgraded um cooling in a transmission cooler i believe and if you look let's see if i can show you these skid plates down here you can see there's skid plates all the way down um, i've heard this can be a pain for oil changes i think there's like 15 or 18 screws you have to remove the entire thing to do oil change which is probably going to be a bit of a pain in the ass um my dealer did not drill a front bumper um, for the license or drill in the front bumper for a front license plate. Texas does require it. I mean, plenty of people drive without it, but if you don't want them to drill into this, which is obviously plastic, uh, I would be sure to let your dealer know. I've seen some people make a little attachment to put a plate on the tow hook. So I think I'm probably going to do that because I'd rather not drill into this um, and mess it up. And look at this, what I just found. There's duct tape in there. So hopefully that they didn't try to just fix something at the factory with some duct tape. The other exterior feature is you get the iconic Ford keypad. So if you're wanting to 
you know, park at the beach or whatever and leave your keys in the car, you can use that, which is awesome. I've never had this, so I'm excited about that. On the top, you have the shark fin. It's a little tall, honestly. I might try to get like a little stubbier one to put that on. Um, you get a gas tank, locking gas tank. Of course, you get the cool FX4 package. Um, the tailgate is not dampened, so if you drop it, it's not that great. They do make an adapter for, I think, 50 bucks that you can do from here to here. You will lose this uh, one tie down and bottle opener, but you will get uh, a slower opening, so it won't be so loud. This does come with a spare. You can see it under there. Um, it is not full size, and even if you do pay extra to get the full size, you do not get, um, it's not truly full size. So you can see under here, this is a unibody vehicle. So no body on frame, but you know, I think it looks nice. And there is a locking tailgate as well. Obviously the Ford emblem, the all-wheel drive emblem, and then the Maverick stamp. And I actually bought some matte black letters off eBay for like 20 bucks I'm going to put on there. And I'll do my next video on that, on how to and how it turns out. Um, all right, I couldn't find my uh, tripod to show you guys how to do these stickers. But trust me, you don't want to see me try to do it because it turned out pretty bad. Um, from far away, I think it looks fine. But up close, it does not look great. So I think from far away, like it looks fine. You can't really tell, it looks good. But the closer you get, um, these were very difficult to put on, they're very flimsy. You can kind of see, let's see if I can get the macro camera on. There's bubbles that I don't think are going to come out. There's probably dirt under them. Um, as you can see, that one was really bad. I think I got better as I went, but you can see they're not perfectly lined up. Um, I don't think it looks bad. I paid $20 on eBay. I'll put the link under here. They have different colors. I would say if you're more coordinated than me, probably this would be fine versus the $100 option from Ford. I don't know how well these are going to hold up. You can see, you know, they don't look the best right there, but I don't think it's that bad. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. It's about 20 bucks. I mean, you can see here, I really messed that one up, <laughs> but yeah. As you can see, I bought mine from Long MacArthur Ford in Kansas. I do recommend them. There was no money down, MSRP, free shipping to me here in Texas. Um, it was a very pain-free product. I used Mitch, uh, Mitch Harvey. So if you want his info, I'll put it in the info below. I will be taking this off though. <laughs> so I did add the 4K tow package to this. So you get the, the hitch, you get the uh, four pin connector or three pin, and then also the seven pin. And the cool thing about this is you can, you can tow up to 4,000 pounds and it also has a trailer brake controller. So the trailer brake control is actually very cool. It's integrated into the system and it actually looks really good. To get to the um, engine, you pull this twice, which is cool. Um, there's no fiddling around with any latches or anything. You just hit it twice and it opens up. Uh, the engine does look a little weird, honestly. Um, a little messy there's not an engine cover or anything you can fit the 2020 ford escape engine cover on this so i might try that out i think they're about 75 bucks and they should just mount to these uh mounting points here and it will make this look a little bit more neat um the engine is it's pretty quiet um there's not any type of material to dampen the noise so you can't hear it a bit in the engine but this is a 2.0 ecoboost um, they've used it in the escape um, i think some old fusions um, it's, a, it's a pretty trusted engine turbocharged um, puts out about 250 horsepower um, and it should get around 29 miles a gallon i believe on the highway you can see it, it does look like a truck um, versus something like the santa cruz which is probably the only competition it has right now as far as a small truck i, I think this looks a lot better in my opinion the interior um while plastic um to keep the, co the cost down it, it it is done very nicely you can see they have these different textures and dimensions here um, and it feels nice and it does not feel cheap at all um, it can fit a whole water bottle you can see the thing there i think a one liter water bottle plenty of storage it has orange accents and blue as well in the seats you can see the blue and it almost looks kind of like a denim but it looks really nice honestly so if we hop in you can see you get these orange accents everywhere. Um, you get these, which can pull out. So I'm sure there's gonna be some aftermarket stuff with different colors. 
as well as this. And you can see the same over there. You got the you know basic glove box. It looks nice. It looks very utilitarian. I think's the word. Uh, the the screen is a little weird. There's a cubby next to it. It looks like maybe it was supposed to be full screen, but something happened. And the other thing that bugs me a little bit is this is not centered with the screen. As far as the infotainment, you can see you get this cool graphic loading up. And this is, uh, with the FX4, you get this upgraded screen size here. Otherwise, you get the smaller one. You get that with the FX4 or if you get the luxury packages. Um, it is, I mean, there's plenty of uh, amenities for my taste. You have uh, all power windows, power mirrors, you have lights, you have um, cruise control, volume. You can rotate through your screens here, which is very nice. You can see your live miles per gallon. Um, kind of your trip over a period of time, all of your tire pressures per tire. Uh, this is a intelligent all-wheel drive, so it will tell you where you're actually putting the power to the um, each tire. It's gonna tell you uh, your degree incline, left and right, forward and back, so that'd be nice if you know, you're going off-road a little bit or up hills, and then obviously just the audio. And I need to turn the AC on because it is hot. I haven't tested this out yet, so let's see. It looks like I can go all the way down to about 50 and all the way up to 85. Feels like it has plenty of power. As far as storage in here, um, plenty of space to put sunglasses, sunglass holder, all kinds of storage down here. A rather large thing. I might put the vault in here. No, almost far got. You get a uh, normal USB, USB-C. This does have CarPlay, Bluetooth. Um, it doesn't have sync or anything, so you don't get navigation, but I think most people probably use CarPlay or Android Auto now, so it's perfect for that. It does have the little turnstile shifter, uh, park, rear, you know, reverse, neutral drive. Uh, I guess that's low electronic parking brake. This is to cycle through your different drive modes. Um, I think that's traffic control, auto on, start and off, so a lot of people do not like that. This does have heel descent control, being the off-road package. And maybe That might be auto off and on, actually. So if you look at the different drive modes, you get normal, tow and haul, slippery, I guess that's snow and ice, you get mud and ruts, and you get a sand mode. The rear is very similar. You get the same cool style handles here. It's, uh, it's a little funzy, but pretty sturdy, I think. The windows do roll all the way down, which is nice. I know a lot of cars do not in the rear. You have all the same storage for the water. Um, I did get the 400 watt inverter in here. I think it was $150 addition. You get another USB, another USB, normal USB and C. Um, no pocket right here, which is kind of weird. I don't know why there's not one there, but there is one here. You get, let's pull this out, three seats. So it does have three seat belts. The storage right here is very nice. You can honestly fit a lot of, it's bigger than it looks. It goes up and down. You do have folding cup holders, which is nice. And then you get the uh, Ford fits. So you can actually get their file and 3D print stuff to go right here. Or if you look down here, there's multiple spots all throughout this. So you can print cup holders, uh, maybe trash holders down here. I'm sure people will get creative with it. To pull this back, you just pull that. Um, it does look a little weird. I think with the luxury versions, you get like a sub and an amp back here, but you do have three tie downs for car seats. And this is where your jack and uh, roadside assistance stuff will be. And then it just pops right back up. You do have these, which are removable. I don't know how useful they are. They kind of stick very straight out. Um, as far as sitting, I mean, I'm six foot tall. I think this seat's all the way back and I, I still fit fine. Um, the driver's seat, I actually adjusted for me driving and you can see I've got plenty of room and plenty of headroom. I mean, whole head. I, I feel, I don't feel crowded at all. Probably more roomy than my Honda Civic in the back. As far as driving impressions, I've, I took it for a spin last night um, and I thought it drove well, it was very smooth. Uh, I 
you know, floored it a couple times, it, it'll throw you back a little bit. So I think it has plenty of power. Um, we'll test it out towing some stuff and off road down, you know, here down the line once I actually have a little bit more time. But for now, I'm going to uh, probably keep it pretty stock and um, I'll keep you guys updated as far as how the miles per gallon go and maybe another review down the line. Um, maybe here in a couple weeks on how everything is holding up and what, you know, my thoughts. So thanks for watching. Um, I know there's a lot of Ford Maverick fans out there and I am definitely happy with my purchase so far. So I'd say go for it.